oyster vendors are willing to put out over $100,000 to establish an oyster farm in the Karani Swamp. The vendors today formally requested 100 acres of the swamp from the Ministry of Agriculture. Sunil Ramdeen has more. Spokesman for the oyster vendors, Kemo Hussain, remains confident that such a farm can be a success. He says the farmers will be using foreign expertise to help develop the farm, which they want to set up in the Karani Swamp. The Oyster Vendors Association will be responsible for that uh, project, but uh, we will be setting up a cooperative within the Oyster Vendors Association to raise funds to carry this exercise. Hussein says the vendors will put up the money themselves. He also dismissed fears that such a venture would adversely affect the swamp. No, no, because we will welcome all these groups that think about the environment of our country to visit to the farm. Despite these plans by the vendors, Hussein still feels that there is no cholera threat in the country and is calling for the ban on oysters to be lifted by Christmas. And I think this time now that the Minister of Health should stop playing games and lift the ban on oysters. By doing that for the Christmas, you know how many homes will be happy? The vendors are awaiting word from the Ministry of Agriculture on whether or not they will be provided with the land. If not, Hussein says the vendors are willing to take the matter to court. Sonal Ramdeen reporting for CCN News. Tomorrow, the oyster vendors will be meeting with 11 other vending associations to try and develop a national vending association. It's time now for the CCN People Meter. You dial 976 for CCN or 4226 and give your answer yes or no to the following question. Should BWE continue to fly between Trinidad and Tobago? That number again, 976-4226. We'll give you the results at the end of the program. The TV6 News continues after this break. Stay with us.